All right, we've got a, I'm doing a demonstration on how to use the waveform viewer on the Kirin N2. Uh, the first thing you want to do when you set up your time scale, so this is a 3x crank sensor at 800 RPMs, so we want to look at one full revolution, which is going to be uh, about 75 milliseconds. So if you pick your time frame, I like to use the 256 sample window. Uh, let's go to 128 milliseconds, and you can see we're missing part of the graph. So if I go into the config menu, it says points displayed 400. Well, that's more than the 256, so you're going to have a uh, missed spot or some weirdness on that, and I can show you how weird it really gets as we zoom out. So let's go to 500 milliseconds, and you can see we're still losing some. And we're going to go out to two whole seconds. And that's what we got there. So you can see that's kind of frustrating, but watch now. I'm going to change it because we're at 256 points, so we're going to display 200 of the 256, and now we've got a waveform we can see. Uh, we're still going to have some aliasing because aliasing, you're not getting the full waveform because it doesn't have a high enough sample rate, but it's still usable. So when I get this back down to, say, 128 milliseconds, we can see our waveform pretty well at least enough to know that we have a crank sensor that works. Uh, and then you can see we can manipulate that all the way down to 32 milliseconds. And as high as two seconds in this menu. So this is where I'm using it most of the time. There's half a second, or 500 milliseconds. There's two seconds. There's one second. And you can see if I change this to a different sample window, say I go over here and I want to see a, a second at 128, it's going to cut off part of the screen because it's it's dumping that that sample rate. So you're seeing more than you're recording. So if I change this to the 100 points, now I've got a full window and I can see what's going on. You can see the resolution is not great in this mode, but I can take it back down and we're at exact, pretty much exactly the same thing. So that's why I recommend sticking in the 256 window if I want to see this waveform, I already took the time to do the math and go back to 200 points because I'm in the 256 window. Uh, 75 milliseconds is going to show me one full revolution. If I want to see more than that, you know, I'm going to go to... Uh, I like to look at things in a 200 millisecond window, so there we've got a couple of revolutions. Uh, I hope that helps you make sense of the waveform viewer. Here is, if you pause it, if I just want to dump the buffer and get the the next one you just pause it and hit refresh and I can get a really nice steady clean waveform same thing here just keep hitting refresh until I get what I want to see you can see that you know I can see what I want to see this way so hopefully this helps you get through manip manipulating the waveform so you can see what you want to see uh, really quickly, you know, this kind of quick, dirty testing, but, uh, you know, it'll help you decide if you want to take the time to dig out your scope and get it all set up. So, again, this tool is pretty awesome for some quick, dirty testing. It just takes a little bit of getting used to how to use it. So, I hope this helps.